Let's look at the types of chemical bond. There are three types of chemical bond that we are going to learn. The first one is ionic bond. The second one is covalent bond. And the third one is dative bond. Okay. Ionic bond is the electrostatic attraction between two oppositely charged ions in an ionic compound. That means there are positive ion and negative ion. It is also called as electrovalent bond. For example, NaCl. In ionic compound, it's always made up of metal and non-metal atom. Okay, so please remember that. Alright, in order to write the formations of ionic bond, so we start with Na. Since Na has one electron, so we draw one dot around the Na to represent the valence electron. Plus Cl. Cl has seven valence electron, so it has seven dots or you can draw cross. Okay, it doesn't matter. So what happens here? Na will donate its valence electron to Cl and produce Na plus that is cation. Okay? While Cl accept one electron from Na and form Cl minus that is anion. So please make sure that you draw the correct directions from Na to Cl. Okay? Because metal will always donate electron to non-metal. And then please draw the charge for the ion correctly. Okay? Since Na only donate one electron, so it gives positive one, and Cl only gain one electron, so the charge is negative one. Okay, let's look at another example, MgCl2. For Mg, it has two valence electron, so we draw two dots that represent the valence electron, plus with Cl. One electron from magnesium will be donated to Cl and another one electron from magnesium will be donated to another Cl. So that means we need two Cl here. And since Mg donates two electron to Cl, so the ion is Mg2+. Plus. Okay, the charge is positive 2. While Cl, since it's only gained one electron from magnesium, so the charge is negative 1. Since there are two Cl in total, so we put two in front of the anion to represent that there are two Cl ion. Alright? So this is how to write the formations of ionic bond by using Lewis dot symbol. Okay. The next one, we are going to look at the covalent bond. Alright, so covalent bond is formed by sharing one or more pairs of valence electron between the bonded atoms. Okay, and remember, in covalent bond, only non-metal atoms involve. Okay. For example, let's look at HCl. Okay, hydrogen has one valence electron. So we draw one dot to represent the valence electron. And Cl, it has seven valence electrons. So we draw seven dots electron to represent the valence electron. And the product is HCl. Okay. You can draw a dot between Cl and H or you can draw dash to represent the bonding electrons. And 
remember to put the lawn pairs around the CL. Okay, there are three types of covalent bond. The first one is single bond. The next is double bond and the last one is triple bond. Okay, for a single bond, it is a covalent bond formed between two atoms that share a pair of electrons. Okay, usually we represent by dash between two atoms, single dash between two atoms. And a single bond is made up of a sigma bond. For a double bond, it's a covalent bond formed when two atoms share two pairs of electrons. And usually we represent by double dash between two atoms. In this double bond, it is made up of sigma bond and one pi bond. For a triple bond, it is formed when two atoms share three pairs of electrons. And it is represented by triple dash between two atoms. And in this triple bond, it is made up of one sigma bond and two pi bonds. Alright, now we are going to look at the bond length. So bond length is defined as the distance between the nuclei of the two covalently bonded atoms in a, in a molecule. For example, hydrogen's molecule, the distance between the nucleus is 74 pm and the distance between hydrogens and iodine is 161 pm. So here's the trend between the length of bond and the type of covalent bond. Okay. Multiple bonds are basically shorter than single covalent bonds. So that means that the bond length decreases in the order from single, double and triple. So in these tables, let's look at the CO, C double bond O and C triple bond O. Okay, We can see that the C triple bond O, the bond length is only 113 while the C double bond O is 122 and C single bond O is 1, 4, 3. That means the single covalent bonds has the longest bond compared to the double and triple bonds. Right, the next we are going to look at the dative bond or coordinate bond. Okay, so what is, what is a dative bond? Dative bond is formed when only one atom can provide both electrons of the shared pairs. It is also known as coordinate bond. For example, water and H plus, hydrogen ion, right? So in water molecule, there, there is oxygen that has two lone pairs. And what happened here, one lone pair from oxygen will be donated to H plus in order to form the coordinate bond. So in order to represent the coordinate bond, we draw as an arrow from oxygens to hydrogens. That means oxygen is the atom that provides both electrons in the bonding. So the overall charge is positive. Okay. So other than this example, you can do further study for other compound with the presence of dative bond in the structure such as NH4 plus and Al2Cl6. Alright. So let's do a bit of summarize of the type of bond that we have learned before. First, is ionic bond. So for the ionic bond, the bond is formed when atom A donate electron to atom B. And atom A is always a metal and atom B is always non-metal. For the covalent bond, 
Atom A share electron with atom B. And for the dative bond, atom A provide or supply electron to share with atom B. And atom A must always has at least lone pair so that it can provide or supply electron to share with atom B.